Good afternoon. Thomas Mortimer the Fourth is now in custody. He's in custody and charged with the brutal, horrific murders of four members of his family. As indicated yesterday, his daughter Charlotte, age two, his son Thomas the Fifth, otherwise known as Finn, aged four, his wife Laura Stone Mortimer, and his mother-in-law Laura's mother Regna Allen Stone. Regna Allen Stone is approximately 64 years old. Uh, Mortimer is in custody. He is uh, in custody in Bernardston, Massachusetts. He's been transferred to the custody of the Massachusetts State Police assigned to the District Attorney's Office here in Middlesex, and they're on their way back to Winchester now with the defendant. Uh, with regard to the apprehension of Mortimer, uh, today at approximately noontime, there was a sighting in the Lake Pleasant area in Montague, Massachusetts by a father and son who did not know the defendant. At that time, the father and son uh, approached the defendant because he was having trouble with his car. His cell phone and the battery of his car had died. The father, having seen published information in the news media about this defendant in the car, recognized the car, told his son to write down the license plate number while the father helped him jump the car and get a start to the battery. After they got a jump to the car, the defendant left the area and the father called the Montague Police Department dispatcher with the motor vehicle license plate number. At that time, the Montague Police Department dispatcher confirmed that in fact the car did belong to Mortimer and it was the wanted car. At that time, a full-blown response entailed from local police department in Montague, from the Massachusetts State Police assigned to the District Attorney's Office and Troop B in that area of our state, along with Vermont State Police. At 13.13 p.m., slightly after 1 o'clock today, the Bernardston Police Department Chief Jim Palmieri observed the defendant's car in traffic. He tried to get as close as he could to the car. He called in the plate number. He confirmed that the plate number was, in fact, the car that was wanted. On 55 Parmenta Road in Bernardston, Massachusetts, the chief attempted to pull the defendant over in his car. The defendant tried to flee the area. Chief Palmieri stayed with him and eventually was able to pull him over and apprehend the defendant after stopping his motor vehicle. Uh, the defendant, Mortimer, was taken to the Bernardston Police Department for a courtesy booking, photographs, and prints. Uh, the defendant has now been transferred into the custody of the Massachusetts State Police who were assigned to the Middlesex DA's office. He is on his way back here now. The defendant will be arraigned tomorrow morning by Chief Prosecutor Adrian Lynch to my left in the Woburn Superior Court. It will occur sometime between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, it may be obvious at this point, but I do want to thank the network of police and police departments who were involved in not only building this case in a very short time, but in apprehending that defendant. Of course, the Massachusetts State Police would have spoke on the wheel. The Vermont State Police were extremely important to us. The Avon Connecticut Police were important, and you'll see why in one moment. The Connecticut State Police, along with the Bartlett New Hampshire Police and the New Hampshire State Police were extremely important to us. As well, the Andover and Winchester, Massachusetts Police Departments, and particularly the United States Marshal Service, were all very helpful in apprehending this defendant. And lastly, I want to thank the news media. You've been extremely helpful in getting out word and information which resulted in the apprehension of this defendant. And we do not take that type of support lightly. And we're thankful for that.